hey collective welcome back guys i hope and pray everyone is doing well we are going to see what is coming towards you guys this weekend what are the overall messages for the next 24 to 48 hours let's see what can my collective expect coming towards them universe archangels spirit angel guides and guardians please help me give the collective clear and concise messages what is their overall energy here? What is going on with the collective universe? What is surrounding them the next 24 to 48 hours? A renewal, a fresh start, a new life. You have healed after a crisis. Your sacral chakra is at its best. I feel like you're in a place right now where you are ready to live and let live. You're ready to enjoy your life and you don't want to hold on to any unnecessary past heartaches, burdens, or deceptions, pains. Universe, archangels, spirit, angel guides, and guardians. It's like there was something sparked within you, Collective, that is pushing you for this new, for this new beginning. Getting out, having fun, going to the gym. And this is very unexpected. It's a major change in your life. It's something that you didn't even expect your own self to come about. I feel like whatever this new inclination here is, whatever this new spark is, is something new. And it kind of even has you surprised. Because you're all of a sudden in a place where, wow, the world has changed. Things look different. I can do things different. I also feel like there's something coming towards you this weekend. It's very unforeseen. It's sudden news. I don't see it being conf conflict, but it is the spark of something new, though. Universe, archangels, spirit, angel guides, and guardians. It's destroying what doesn't serve a purpose to allow something new into your life. Self-worth. So for a lot of you guys, I'm not going to lie. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you are setting some boundaries between you and a, a specific person where you are no longer putting any expectations on a relationship and you are moving on and you're moving forward. And this is that new independent spark within you. It's like you gave too much of your time, too much of your energy, too much of, of you in a situation that you're not willing to do it anymore. And your self-worth has finally been born. Not that, not that you ever thought any less of yourself, but there's all of a sudden this unexpected change in the wind with you. This is a second opportunity in life. It's and I don't want to, I don't want to compare it to to this, but it's like it's like you died and you came back. It's like all of a sudden God has given you this new opportunity to live a new life and you know that at the end of the day, with or without that person, you're going to survive. You came in this world alone and you're going to leave this world alone. It would have been good to spend your lifetime with this person. It would have been the happiest thing for you. But if this person never knew how to value you, how to respect you, or how to put you above others... You're ready to release yourself from that. And that is what's happening this weekend. That I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're giving yourself a new a new start. This is divine intervention. This is divine coming in and removing you from a path that you no longer need to be on. This is that unexpected change. Universe, archangels, spirit, angel guides, and guardians. This is faded. You were meant to deal with everything that you have dealt with up to this point because there was going to be a specific time in your life such as these next 24 to 48 hours where everything for you was going to completely change and you went from being this quiet uh i don't want to compare it to this forgive me i don't mean no offense but you're going from this quiet church mouse to this open opinionated respectful um divine individual and you are not allowing anyone or anything to step over you and your power. It's like you're taking control of your life and that's that. And if they like it, they do it. They don't. It is what it is. Universe, archangels, spirit, angel guides, and guardians. What is this overall energy here for my collective, please? So the world, new cycles, new beginnings. You have completed some type of karmic cycle. You have... I just literally pictured a blue ribbon. It's like you won your ribbon. You've crossed the finish line. And now it's time for you to move into a new beginning here, a new life. You have successfully overcome some obstacles here. And here goes your passion and new beginning. 
you for some of you guys you may even chosen to go into another field completely opposite from what you currently do right now you can be a teacher and you're going to be a nurse um you can be um a doctor and you decided to be a medical biller it's completely different from what you're currently doing right now not to undermine or, or say anything less about anyone else but at the end of the day it's like you're choosing new paths you're you're choosing new new beginnings but you're doing all these new beginnings because ultimately it will satisfy you and it makes you happy it's not about what it makes everyone else around you feel it's about what it makes you happy and this is your passion and new beginning so you may even be taking on a new job walking away from a company that you have worked for for a long time and now you're ready to venture off for some of you guys you have decided to open up a new business maybe even purchase a new home it doesn't matter whatever it is you are doing it and you're making it happen for yourself universe archangel spirit angel guides and guardians what is this overall energy here for my collective what is going on here for the next 24 to 48 hours so guarded from from this point on from this weekend up to the next new moon which will be on june 6 2024 which is the month six the day six the year two plus four six so all six six there is a major change happening in your energy collective i feel like intuitively you know that this change is coming this is why you're in this renewal state this is why you're you're all these changes around you seem unexpected but they seem like they're right they seem like they should be happening there is something here that maybe you have been holding on to secretly that you wanted to do um and all of a sudden between now and then it's when when this is being born for you it's when it's happening but i guarantee you that from these next 24 to 48 hours there is a completely renewed individual in this reading and you're starting your transition your change your process from here and come the next new moon it'll be full blown the whole world will know that you've changed that something has changed and and you're no longer fearing this change if it's as major as somebody hiding their sex sexuality okay or hiding their, their their truth about what they want or who they want to be with or whatever it is but this is a major change that you're no longer allowing yourself to to hold back from you're allowing it to happen and you're moving on and you're moving forward what is the outcome here for the collective within these next 24 to 48 hours you're going to be making some major major life decisions this weekend in these life decisions it's a new beginning for you it's like you finally getting the courage to tell the world yes i want to be with a <clears throat> with the same sex partner yes i want to get a divorce because i don't want to be married to you yes i am ready to no longer be in this career i want to go into this field so it's like you finally owning what you want and not and not caring whatsoever what other people think only what you think final message here for the collective universe so toxicity, you're not holding yourself back anymore. You are not holding yourself back. You are not going to be tied down to what other people consider the norm to be. You are doing you, handling your business, moving on and moving forward. And look at apology. For some of you guys, you may apologize to certain people because of these major changes. Because you know what? They are going to come in very erupt. But you're not going to apologize for doing what you love. You're just going to apologize because it had to happen now. So you're not sorry. You're sorry, but you're not sorry. You're just you're just trying to be a little bit lighthearted with these confessions. Um, allowing people and their emotions to come through. But at the end of the day, the only concern that matters in this reading and the only person that matters in this reading is you collective because you are choosing happiness. You are choosing abundance. You are no longer holding on to the past. The past is a done deal. You are moving on and you're moving forward and you're releasing your chain yourself from any of these toxic chains. Okay? All right, guys, I really do hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you needed. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. And if anyone is interested in a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.